Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain about one of the PySpark transformation that is how to convert data frame columns into dictionary. Dictionary is nothing but map data type within Spark data frame. For this requirement, we can use PySpark inbuilt function that is create map. Before understanding create map, let us understand what is dictionary. Dictionary is one of the powerful data structure used in Python. This data structure actually makes the developer's life easier in most of the situations. We can implement very complex uh, uh, you know, solutions logic using this uh, uh, dictionary. It actually makes the complex logic into simpler uh, way. Dictionary holds the data in the form of key and value pair. The keys and values are enclosed within the curly braces. Each uh, key and uh, value would be separated by uh, uh, colon and each uh, key value pair would be separated by comma. Within the curly braces, we can keep unbounded number of, you know, it, it's unbounded. We can keep any number of key value pairs. Coming back to our original requirement, we have to convert data frame columns into a dictionary or map type. For that, the simple solution is create map. What is the syntax for this uh, uh, create map function? That is also very simple. We can use either select or with column function. Within that, we have to apply this function. So the syntax is create underscore map and within the bracket, we have to give the columns. Columns can be either two or it could be more than two number of columns. I would like to explain this uh, function using the demo. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and cluster is up and running. The first step I'm going to create sample data frame. For this demo, I'm going to create product dimension data in the data frame. So for that, I'm uh, creating sample data and also I'm defining the schema. Based on that, I'm creating data frame DF. Let me execute this step. Execution is completed and uh, we can see the data. This uh, product, product dimension data frame contains product ID, product name, unit price and discount price. Now let's say as per our business requirement, we have to create map field which should contain product name and the corresponding unit price, which means the mobile name, mobile, that is a product name and all the corresponding uh, unit price 20,000. Both should be created, in, uh, both uh, should be shipped into one single field. How we can do? So in the next step, I'm going to show how we can create map data type. For that, we have to use create map function. But uh, in my, uh, the new data frame, I want to retain all the original columns. I don't want to, uh, uh, I don't want to give any impact to the existing column. So that's the reason using select class, I am selecting all the columns as a first step. Then on top of that, I'm going to create new column, which is a price dictionary. So for that, I'm applying create map function. So the syntax is create map. Then within that, I have to give the two columns for which I need to create map uh, data type. So here I'm going to create the dictionary for product name and unit price. So for these two columns. So this is the simple syntax. After creating this uh, create map, I am also creating alias, which means I am giving a, a name, meaningful name for this uh, map data type. So let me execute this step. Execution is successful. Now here you can see along with our original columns, we got one more new column product uh, price uh, dictionary, which is containing key value uh, pair mobile. That is a key and uh, corresponding uh, value that is 20,000. So this is very simple, but I want to uh, uh, give you two other, you know, scenarios or two different other um, uh, uh, features, you know, how we can implement this uh, function. So, you know, in all the situations, we don't want, uh, you know, this kind of output. Instead of that, in some scenarios, you know, we would like to keep, you know, mobile uh, product name that will be constant, then product name, uh, uh, the value would be mobile. And corresponding unit price, that is a key, the corresponding value would be 20,000, that would be the value. So let me uh, give by some example. In the next example, what I'm doing is, let me uh, first execute and I can show the output. Based on that, I can explain the code. Here what I'm doing is, I'm giving product name. That product name is uh, mobile. And what is the unit price? That is 20,000. So I'm hard coding this product name and also uh, unit price. That is a column name. Then corresponding value, I'm giving as a value. So here, this is one key value pair. This is the second key value pair. So in some situation, we might need the output in this way, but in some other situation, we might also need uh, the uh, 
uh, dictionary in this format so for that what i'm doing is i'm uh, creating this uh, create map within that using literal function i am providing the constant product name and from the column value i am giving column product name from the uh, data frame it is taking the actual value that is mobile then again i am hard coding unit price then after that the corresponding value the unit price will be taken from the original data frame that is 20000 so this is you know another flavor how we can use this create map hope you understood and coming to the next method you know, uh, it's not only about two columns. In my previous examples, I have given only two columns for this uh, map data type. But uh, in the real time, it's not only for two columns. You can give any number of columns. So in the next example, I am creating the map data type for three uh, columns. So basically, you know, this is for product name. I am hard coding product name and the corresponding value. Similarly, unit price. The third column is a discount. So let me execute this step. So the execution is successful here you can see now this is uh, creating uh, the map data type with uh, three key value pairs right um, this is about you know how to implement uh, create a map function in our uh, PySpark development this is uh, basically creating a dictionary kind of um, output for each field now as i told earlier you know this is a map data type in PySpark. it is quite similar to dictionary in python but uh, within spark environment this is called as map data type so in order to confirm that, I would like to show the print schema. You know, what is the schema for the original data frame? Okay, original data frame that is uh, I am giving in a DF print schema. Let me execute this one. This is our original data frame. This is containing the data uh, you know, schema, same as whatever we have uh, defined in the first step. So we have given integer, a string, integer, integer. It's the same for the original data frame. If you look at the data frame, product ID, and uh, unit price and discount uh, percent all are integer only product name is a string this is the original data frame now coming to uh, dictionary data type that we have um, you know created based on create map this is having one extra column price dictionary all other columns are same product id unit price and discount percent all are integer data type and product name is a string only this new column we have added by using create map uh, function so this is you know data type is map this is containing key value pair so this is how you know we can uh, implement uh, create map function to convert the list of columns into uh, map type uh, and also you know we can uh, do the reverse um, uh, you know reverse logic also which means you know we can convert the key value uh, pair into separate columns for that we have to use function called explode i have already posted one video about the explode function in case you haven't watched I highly recommend to watch that one. I am giving that uh, uh, URL in the description box. You can uh, refer that. I hope you understood uh, this function. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please uh, like and comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Also, click on the bell button to get uh, the latest uh, uh, videos about uh, Databricks development. Thank you.